Look, look at all the little babies. I think we're gonna run a little co covert mission, all right? Okay, now we now we run. So there's definitely also oils in here. Oh, okay, I actually see movement in the trap. Look at the size on him. Look at all the little guys. Welcome back to Rob's Cross, guys. In today's video, we're going back to the abandoned ponds to see if we can't save some of the monster fish that are actually living in this pond. And actually, I'm at the property right now. I can't start fishing yet because they're actually doing construction, but luckily with the weather, we should be fine. I should be able to just go kill some time and then come back and be able to actually fish the property. But if you look way out there, you could see right there, they're actually tearing up some of that wood. They're trying to level out this entire property so they could start putting houses down. Right here, guys, there's actually another smaller pond None of us have actually fished that they've started draining down. So I think what today's game plan is, guys, we're going to fish that pond and see what we could pull up. I have no idea what could be in there, but before we get into today's video, I don't know if I said it already, but please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. While we wait, I'll bring you guys with me to the abandoned fountain to give you guys an update on that because a lot of you guys have been asking me for that and I haven't done it yet. I'll be able to actually pop on over there while we wait for the construction to finish and then we'll start fishing the pond we're now at the abandoned fountain to see what's up me and my ex fountain girlfriend here if you guys remember that video is still standing last time we we're here at this property though it was like completely burned down all of this stuff just wasn't around you could see where it blew up right there i think one of the electrical boxes or whatever caught fire or like a lightning strike happened but all this stuff has regrown and we'll see if there's any fish still in the fountain i've not been here since the last time i came here but Usually, anytime I come through here, there's usually at least like one or two fish still milling about. Oh wow, this is so overgrown. I'm probably gonna be really itchy in a second, but let's see if we could find any fish in the fountain. I'm popping up right here to get a good vantage point. Oh, oh, actually, I think I did just see some fish. I don't know what they were. They're kind of dull in color, so it's hard to tell. Oh, look. Look at all the little babies. Oh my God. There's little baby fish in here, guys. Look at that. See, a lot of you guys were like, there's no way they could be breeding in here. There's literally no way. But look, if you look at the abandoned fountain, guys, there's actually a bunch of little baby platy swimming around in here. Okay, <laughs> that's actually really cool. So we might come back to this if I can't, for whatever reason, get to that other property. But look, oh my God. You know what, guys? We might just kill some time here and start fishing. There's so many babies. Oh my God, there's so many babies in here. That is actually so sick. All right, guys, new agenda right now. We're going to actually fish around and see how many of these baby fish we could catch out of here and save because, I mean, honestly, they're doing pretty good in here. They got plenty of food and all that. I'm just kind of curious to see how many I could actually catch. It's been about a month since I've been here and there's literally so many platies. They're filling up this whole place. Everywhere I look, there's like more babies. Look. There's some swimming right down here. The more I look, the more I find. That is so cool. Damn, my biceps are small, fuck. Cue the fish saving montage. This might have just turned into an abandoned fountain video. I did not expect to see any fish in here. The weather's been so intense, but I've got the perfect little net right here, guys, to actually start fishing this. I didn't know if I'd have anything small enough to get the little babies out of here, but I think we'll be all right. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh God, I just threw this net. Let's see, oh no, oh no. Okay, so I gotta think of a way to sort through this mess right here. I'm just hoping I could strain it out of here. This stuff smells so bad. I'm gonna have to use one bucket to try to sort through the mumbo jumbo. I don't really know how I'm gonna, I might just have to get lucky, honestly. Cause these fish, are, they're smart. They're in here for a reason. It's cause they're very elusive. But you can see just how many mollies are down there. <laughs> yup, oh my God. Look at that guys. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at this guys. This pond is filled with these mollies right here. We caught a few of these last time. Beautiful. Oh my God. I don't even want to post this because if somebody finds this, they're going to get so many little baby mollies. Dude, this is incredible. Look at that. Look at all these little mollies in here. That is so sick. I'm going to actually put them back. I just wanted to see what colors we got going on. We got some blues in here, some blue mollies. You could just barely see on them. That is beautiful. But there's also these ones right here. These little baby red ones. Oh, this is so sick. Ew, hopefully I don't get diseases. Where'd he go? I literally just caught a little tiny baby. Look how puny he is, look at that. That's tiny little baby. That is actually so dope. See, I tried to drain down the pond at one point to try to catch out the babies, but it did not work in my favor. Yeah? But let's see if we could catch another big adult. Let's see here. This is so fun. Look at all the little mollies. I'm lurking. There we go, look at that. That is actually so sick. 
Okay, we'll keep a few of them just for the tank back home, but you can see there's literally thousands of them in this pond. Okay, we're gonna have to come back and do a video here on its own. That is so insane. We're definitely, definitely gonna be taking a few of these back to the house because just for, you know, our little collection, we'll bring back a few of these mollies right here, but I'll catch a few more before we leave and go back to the abandoned pond. But we'll dedicate a whole day to just clearing this out. I want bigger ones, to be honest. All right, right there. Oh my God, look at these. Okay, we'll keep some little babies, but look at that, guys. Some tiny little baby mollies. But I'm cool with that. I'm satisfied. I at least know there's still stuff in here and you guys do as well. But I'm gonna escape from this heat for a second while I wait for that abandoned pond to clear up because that's the goal for today. We're gonna fish that abandoned pond and hopefully save some fish out of there. Super cool to see that this pond actually still has some fish. My girl has been taking care of them, I see. Pretty sick. Hey, cover up please. You're on camera. Guys, I'm sorry you had to see that. But we're gonna head over to the abandoned pond and fish around hopefully catch some stuff so we're back at the property it's literally been a full hour it's almost five and these people are still working here literally they're using that massive mechanical wood chuck to chew up all that trees and turn it into mulch but i think we're gonna run a little co covert mission all right so what i'm gonna do is is i'm actually gonna bait up one of the traps right and we're just gonna like just do a little drive by drop it in the pond just real quick just real quick we got the trap baited up so we're gonna run this little covert operation all right we're gonna run over there. Hopefully they haven't noticed me. Like, it is pretty weird. They definitely have noticed me, to be honest. This might or may not be like the second time I drove by. Like, low key though. Like, I've been stalking them and they probably noticed. It's game time, we're doing it. All right, just real quick guys. We're just gonna throw this down over here. They're not even gonna notice, look. You probably can't even see me right now. Oh, no. No, I've been bamboozled. No. Oh no, I might lose my shoes. No. No. Oh no, these were my clean shoes. So regardless, I'm just gonna throw that right there. Okay, now we now we run, now we run. That's actually so unfortunate about my shoes though. Like I was literally, man, these were my cleanest pair of shoes. After three whole hours, guys, we were able to actually fish this place and they've cleared it up. Kind of crazy. This is that first pond right here and then there's a second pond. This thing is brand new. I doubt it's got any fish in it because they built it themselves. But at first I thought it was the monster fish pond they just completely reconstructed, but no. The monster pond I could still see there, but I have to drive around to access that third pond because they made like a roadblock over here. Oh my God. So the dojo loach pond, they've completely severed in half. No idea how much, how many fish are missing. My pineapple plants are definitely gone as well. And then if you look over here, guys, they're just digging, they're digging canals. So interesting. I'd have no idea why they're doing this, but this one connects over to that one we saw over there and you can see the roadblock right there. Very interesting. And I have some horrible news guys about the big old monster fish pond because initially I thought I saw the water, right? I'm like, oh, that's good. There's still probably fish in here. And then I realized there's literally ducks standing in the middle of the pond, which means they filled it in completely. Now you can see they're standing on like a little dirt mound in it. But look, 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 he's just straight up walking across. So that doesn't give me much hope for the third and final pond. I'm gonna walk over there right now and see what's up. But worst case scenarios, guys, we're gonna set traps wherever we can and hopefully pull up some fish. And this is what that third pond is looking like, guys. You can see on the surface, it looks like bow film, but it's actually just a lot of sawdust covering the surface of the water. We're gonna try to fish this here right, right here while our trap is sitting and see if we can't save any fish from here as well. But it seems as though those are the only two locations on the property at this point that are left to be fish that first pond we found that we never knew existed and then that little pond right behind originally i thought that this film this pollution was actually just sawdust but the closer i get to this body of water the more like diesel it smells but regardless i got a big old net right here most of the fish i've caught in here in the past could actually fit in these holes so i'm pretty confident if there is fish still in here we should be able to pull them up with this net i have right now but i see the plant starting to get really gross looking so I'm not even too sure if anything's alive in here. We're just gonna have to mess around and find out. Oh, <laughs> one of Florida's most invasive. Look at that, guys. Hundreds, well, not hundreds in this net, but there's probably hundreds of cane toads in there. Well, if baby cane toads could live, that means there's gotta be some fish in here, right? I feel like that would make sense. But it seems like all I'm catching are cane toads right now. We'll take a couple nets around this bend. Ugh, but I'm not seeing like, any fish in here i'm literally just seeing baby cane toads right back into it i guess oh okay 
I see some color right here. Ooh, what are you? Okay, so we have caught these here in the past. Nice to see there's at least still one of these guys looking around amongst all the uh, keto fish. He just barely fits in this net. Very small little colorful platy right here and a bunch more cane toads. We're gonna throw this guy with the rest of the platys we caught from the abandoned fountain earlier. Hopefully he does just fine in here. I really hope so. I don't know if that's like pollution is gonna mess him up or anything, but regardless, we'll know by the time we get back to the house whether or not he'll be able to be healthy. Now, I don't know. Maybe I have to throw all the fish we catch today into a quarantine tank just cause they're in like an oil slick pond. This thing is like a barren wasteland, man. I'm not even really even see, oh, okay. I see some movement up here. That means, could be some. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Not the net. Forgot. There's all kinds of literal trees in here. But I did see a lot of fish movement right here. So hopefully we don't get snagged up too heavy. But again, just tame toads. I think we might have just been really lucky pulling that platy out of here. Ooh. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of wakes right here. Oh. Okay. So there's definitely fish right here. I'd assume. Let's see. Great net, great net, and just cane toads. Literally just baby cane toads. Oh yeah, look guys. Okay, I see some mosquito fish in here still, but it's mostly just these little cane toads in here. Oh God. Okay, so there's definitely also oils in here. They also filled in that little pond that was right here as well. I wish I was able to give you guys like a better update, like a more exciting update on the abandoned ponds, but the fishing at this pond specifically is near impossible. I pulled up that one platy, I'm about halfway through the edge of the pond, the bank of the pond, and I've only caught the one platy so far. So, uh, could just be the little live bears, the only thing that survived, whatever pollution and degradation to the environment there has been. But other than that, it's literally just cane toad so far. Oh, oh. okay, I just saw some color. Just saw some color, Ugh, run it up here. Oh, this, oh, it stinks. It stinks so bad. Ew, ew, ew. Where did that little bead of color go? I literally saw some orange and it disappeared. This stuff also smells disgusting. Ugh, why am I touching it? It smells so bad. But I saw a little bit of color, so I think there was a fish in there, but now I have no idea. Ew, a little iguana skin. That might've been the only other fish I found at this whole pond. Oh God. All right, you know what guys? We're gonna go back to that first pond we found that none of us have ever seen. That fish trap's been sitting there for nearly half the day, so hopefully, hopefully it caught something. I have no idea what to expect from it, but we're gonna pack up and head on over there now. All right guys, so we're at this first pond right here. Oh, I see some fish ripples over there. Okay, so there could actually be fish in here. The trap is sitting right, oh, okay. I actually see movement in the trap right now. I have no idea what those fish are, but I dragged down a fresh bucket of water so that we could actually get them in the bucket as soon as possible because this place pretty disgusting i mean i have no idea i don't smell any gasoline from this pond like no oil fuel smells at all coming from this pond so i'm thinking these fish will probably be healthier than the ones we just caught at that other spot but regardless i do see fish in the trap that's good to see we're gonna pull up the string right here and see what we caught let's see what oh okay <laughs> look at that wow okay that's a big that's a big silver dollar it looks like you can tell right away when it's a big silver dollar look at the size on him okay so a little pond monster nothing too crazy and what oh what are you oh nice a really dull colored garami we'll get him in the bucket right there and what else is in this i see a bunch of smaller little fish let's check this out guys wow oh there's an angel fish right here seems like another baby silver dollar and what are these Oh, those are little baby Paku. Okay, so there's actually a good mix of fish in this pond right here. None of us have ever, oh, there was the second angel fish. This guy right here. Okay, so the original owner, he's he had the stuff in like other ponds. I guess this one could just be a little mishmash of some of his favorites because I do catch a lot of angel fish. Oh, I saw another one. He's in my hand right here, guys. We got another little angel fish right there. Beautiful. What do we got right here? Beautiful little garami and a silver dollar. Boom, boom. Oh, nice. A beautiful angel fish. A lot of mixed colors, so there could be some cooler adults. And I see a few more little fish in here. Beautiful baby Paku and silver dollar. Get them in there. A lot of little baby pond monsters in this pond right here. Boom, another one. Beautiful. Now, this pond right here, guys, was completely hidden by trees. That gate used to be completely blocked off, and there was, like, nothing. There's literally nothing but trees. We couldn't even see this one. But I think there's another little silver dollar right here. Beautiful. Oh, I think I see a few more. Oh, my God. <laughs> we might have to come back with another trap or a few more traps and see if we could catch even more. Because if you guys look, there's all kinds of them. 
We got so many little baby fish. What even? Oh, that must be a little baby Paku as well. We got a ton of little fish in here. Are you alive, sir? Yeah, he's just really stressed out. Silver dollars and Paku, when they get super stressed, they kind of just lay on their side. Seems like that's everything in the trap. We're going to remove the cat food, get these guys on air, and immediately head back to the house. Now, my 55 gallon tank is getting kind of packed out. If there's any fish you guys want, I think I'm willing to sell you off some of my wild catches, like the angel fish, stuff like that, just to clear space in the tank. And then that way I could continually catch these fish and get them to good home. So if you want any of the fish in my 55 gallon, except for Mowgli, my little my, my little turtle, and Willie, my little lung fish, you could have whatever else you want. Just send me a DM. We'll work out a price because the shipping, I don't know what it'll be like. And I'll try my best to get you guys them to your house healthily us only of course but we're gonna get these guys back to the house and we're probably going to be keeping them in the quarantine tank i have set up that i used for those clown loaches we had caught the other week but that is it for oh, construction maybe uh-oh the ops pulled up but we're gonna get these guys back in the car and see what's good i hope they're watching me weird the gang stalkers are ever persistent it's been a while since we've had one but those definitely look to be the type. All right guys, we're now back at the house with the fish that we just caught and I think we're gonna throw basically mostly everything in the 10 gallon quarantine tank. It's still set up, doing water changes on everything tomorrow. So this will get a fresh water change. We just need to net out all of these guys except for the big silver dollar. The big silver dollar will be going into this tank as well. But the rest of these fish, well, these fish will be going the 10. These fish will be going in the 55. All right, so first up we've got this guy get these guys out of here i'm trying not to get the little fish because he's gonna smush them but we got some little fish and this big silver dollar right here so honestly just gonna pick up the silver dollar and just throw them in right there and the rest of these smaller fish that i got with this net we're just gonna put in here big net big net around look at all the little guys so we're gonna get them in here as well boop just like that some more little silver dollars boop even more little fish so we're just gonna get all these little dudes into this tank right here. I'll do a water change tomorrow on it. Get it all nice and pretty for them. But there's so many fish in here. I think we caught like 20 fish out of that fish trap. All of them super, super small. Except for that one big silver dollar. Boop. And I'm not netting out any more fish at this time. I'll check, I'll double check, but I'm also gonna take, if I can, take out this mush this crap out of here so I could get these platies out without grabbing any of that nastiness boom just like that some little platy boom right there there you go pal and I believe there might be a few oh yep there's one right here oh took flight and I don't know if I got him boom still don't know if I got him but I see a little dude in here I see a few little fry probably put them in this tank they should be safe yeah, they should be fine, hopefully. But I got all the new fish added into the respective tanks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications if you did. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.